takes. Passes loose. And here come Bristol Rovers. Holly Clark plays it through. That's a great pass, and it's one over Bristol Rovers. The finish coming from Kyle Bennett there. And they just cut through the middle of the Blues defence. It's a great pass by Bennett. Just like that, the Rovers take the lead. Yeah, it's uh, Blues were disappointed with that. It was just too easy. I think it came from our own throw, didn't it? And we just counted on, and, and the man was free. Simple pass to the left, and Bennett sticks it firmly, side foot past Lee Camp. But it was a bit sloppy from Blues that one. And I think they're all they, they are acknowledging that. I mean, you know, they're throwing high up on the left, and before you know it, in the blink of an eye, it's down the other end in the back of the net. So, Blues with a free kick. Gary Gardner takes it quickly out wide to Pedersen. Pedersen in search of Jukovic. Goes back to Maxim Collin, though. It's a great ball across in search for Odin Bailey. Headed clear by many EC for Bristol Rovers. It'll be another Blues corner. Another set piece. Blues like to take that free kick. Essentially short, wide, and a, a, a diagonal. Pedersen. Collin stolen around the back. Good sort of uh, pushed ball back in with his side foot down into the six yard block. Well dealt with by the Rovers' defence for. Another Blues corner. Karen Morati to take in front of the family stand here at the Memorial Stadium. It's deep looking for Gary Gardner. Wins a header. Is oh, that over the line? Well, that's, well, it's in now. Christian Pedersen. Glancing header just in front of the line. It's well saved. It looked like it may have been over at first glance. But he made no mistake when he had a second bite of the cherry. And it's one all here at the Memorial Stadium. Christian Pedersen with the equaliser to the delight of that sold out Blues Terrace. So it shows you, you can talk about formations and so on, uh, set pieces are massive and as we know Blues are strong at them and the ball in from the right, just a little bit out beyond the penalty spot, Gary Gardner firm header towards the six yard area and, and for me I think Christian Pedersen it was over the line uh, before the keeper managed to get a hand on it but Pedersen made no mistake, lashing it into the roof of the net from a couple of yards. Blues trialist once upon a time. That's oh, a great ball in. The ball came in from Rodman to the Rover skipper Ollie Clark, and it's a fine save from Lee Camp to turn it around for the Pirates' corner. Good save by Camp there, getting low down to his right. And Blues a little bit hinged down our left hand side. Good reverse ball into the air. And a good save. He pushed it behind rather in front of him when there was a tackle coming into the rebound. In the centre circle, in the Bristol Rovers half. More forward Seddon, who gets into the box to Morabti. Back to Seddon. Seddon with the crossing opportunity. Goes deep. Collins at the back post. Wins the header. It's to Odin Bailey. Touch on the chest. Gets it forward. Oh, confusion in the box. It's just gone over. How do we describe that then, Tats? Interesting. Bailey won it. I think, yeah, the, the offside flag went up anyway, I think. The lines was indicating by the con had to come back, and come back into an offside position. But it's a, it's a nice move. Uh, a good cross, deep by Seddon to the far post. And Bailey just wouldn't quite drop for him, would it? I mean, he, a little bit low and he could have swung at it on, on, the, on the full. From here. Corner causing problems for the East, he got the shots away, blocked by Gary Gardner, punched out for another corner by Camp. We will take the plaudits from the Blues fans on that far side. Corner to be taken by Serkin then for Bristol Rovers. Just to nail one that's been doing the rounds that nobody has been into the training ground this week and failed a medical. 100% has nobody failed a medical. As Blues win a throw in on that far side. Should we say Sorry, just to cut across. Callum, yeah, just to, just to reiterate, the club is working very hard to try and bring, try and bring in new recruits to strengthen certain areas and departments of the team. With the ball into the box, Lukas Zukovic, and that's a fantastic header that finds the bottom right corner of Yakola's net. And the Duke is on the score sheet. Blues 2, Bristol Rovers 1. One of the best exponents of heading the ball in football, Lukas Zukovic pulls away to the back post, and we are right behind that winner. 
Gantry commentary position here, speared it into the bottom corner. Timing, perfection, execution, perfection. Blues have a 2-1 lead. Could not have headed that any more perfectly, could he, Duke? The Blues fans in raptures in that away end. And they've turned this one on its head, Blues. Only five or so minutes into the, into the half. Worked into the box, the shot was away from Jukovic and saved by Yakola. Lands to Maxine Collin, who goes back out wide to Steve Seddon, plays the 1-2. That's another low cross in, but cleared by Upson before Jukovic could have another bite of the cherry. Quite unusual, right? you don't really see the Duke drop his shoulder, cut inside a player from out the left and then have a ping low with his right foot. Good shot, keeper was equal to it, possibly saw it a little bit late. Um, Duke, Duke certainly sparks this half, hasn't he? It's Morabti. Morabti with a clever little back heel to Jukovic. Jukovic now charging towards that Bristol Rovers box. Ball comes out to Gary Garner. He shoots from range. Just wide of Yakola's left-hand post. His brother scored one not too dissimilar to that yesterday, Sats. Yeah, I think he was uh, what you can do, I can do sort of thing. The ball popped up. First touch from Gary Garner. He took it on the full on the volley. Uh, just, just zoomed past the right hand up right. Nice little again into play by Blues in that final third. Grabbed here, clever little little back heel into the, the path of Djukovic, who could have probably had a had a go himself, but he was unselfish. Tried to feed Morabti in on the edge of the box for a, a shot, and maybe wants him to get on the score sheet. Two weeks away now, that trip to Griffin Park. Lovely little turn by Jude Bellingham. Gives it to Lukas Jukovic, back to Gary Gardner, out wide to Maxim Collan. It's on the edge of the Rovers area, forced out wide. A glimpse of the skill of Jude Bellingham there. Yeah, lovely little pirouette turn. David Davis now. Jude Bellingham, you can hear the allays from the away end. Here's Bellingham. Charging towards the Rovers box, gets into the box, he's brought down. The referee says fairly. It's close that. Certainly a bit of an eye opener for our friends at Brentford. He'd love that as well, wouldn't he? Here's Kerry Morabti, that ball for everyone unawares. Morabti with the shot, held up on the line. Yukovic <laughs> tried to turn it in, eventually turns himself in and it's cleared. Bit of a scramble there, to say the least, Tats. Yeah, he got the better of the defender who got the ball a little bit under his feet and, and the guy on the line, I think it was uh, Kilgore, yeah, sort, of, right. sort of scuffed it a bit and then Lukas Djukovic had a bit of a fly hack at it and somehow, somehow it, it was kept out. The score remains, Bristol Rovers 1, Blues 2 here. 